in this video we'll be looking into neko 225 animal husbandry practical so these are the specimens from specimen a to what to j as you can see it's a specimen a to what to j now look at the specimen a specimen a says that fresh egg and what is fresh egg this is a fresh egg as you can see it's a this is fresh egg or you call it poultry egg look at it very well i think everybody knows what a fresh egg is all about you can also call it poultry egg then the second one specimen b specimen b is um fresh milk now look at this fresh milk look at this particular milk here see this see, see this milk i'm showing you here as you can see it's a this is not a fresh milk this is an evaporated milk as you can see this milk here is an evaporated milk now look at this milk here this milk here is also um a powdered milk so and not a fresh milk so now what's the meaning of fresh milk fresh milk is the milk obtained from the breast of um um what is cattle cow you understand so i think most of fulani used to get that tap that milk from the breast of those cattle natural so uh, these two milk i showed you earlier they have passed through some processes like this as you can see this evaporated milk now it has passed through some processes and these uh this powdered milk has also passed through some processes so a fresh milk has not passed through any processes so it's just naturally collected from the breast of cow and then this the, the specimen c is um central semen now this specimen c is um central semen this central semen is a plant so let me show you how this plant looks like on my phone now look at this plant this is a central semen as you can see so let me swipe it this is also another version of it as you can see this plant look at this plant again this is what we call central semen so this plant mm, is also called a uh, butterfly pea so that is what this central semen is all about now look at the specimen d that is the bahama grass now look at the grass here let me show you on my phone here this is also the grass this is the bahama grass another version of it this is a bama grass okay so the specimen e is animal bone bone of animal so that one is i think is what people students should be able to know and the specimen f is fresh fish not a frozen one just a fresh one and wood shaving this wood shaving up uh, we usually call it sawdust <laughs> so they usually call it sawdust so they used to put it in where you guys are rearing your maybe your chicken your fowl hey let me use that fowl so therefore they will firstly spread sawdust first before putting those fowl and then for the specimen age that is drinker that drinker drinker just means anything you can use to give those animals water that's just drinker so people used to call it water trough and this i is a um, louse this louse the plural is lice l-i-c-e so it's an ectoparasite so and this last specimen specimen j this is a live fowl i know chicken now a hair life one the one that has not been killed so these are the specimen neko instructed school to provide this specimen will be provided to you on the day of your exam now let's go into some possible questions that they can ask you based on this specimen we have here so according to this specimen now i will be grouping this specimen into three category so look at this specimen a i will group specimen a i'll group specimen a b and then j together again let me group them this out so i will label this one the first this is also the first category for me so as you can see a and what b and j so a b and j they are my first category so followed by c d e f they are my second category so let me just manage this place the water poured on this place c d e f they are my what second category why why um g h i they will be my third category so g h i are my third category so in this video i will explain the the first category in this particular video why in my next video i will name it part b that one will be explanation on the second category and the third category so in the first category the first question i'll be predicting for you is that they can ask you to identify specimen a b j so let me label that one one a so specimen a b j a we know that a is what fresh egg fresh egg so what about b b is um fresh milk 
fresh milk and then what about j j j j j is what live fowl live fowl so that is what is there so another question they can ask you which i will be predicting for you is that they can ask you to state one major nutrient found in each of the specimens so what major nutrients can you find from this specimen so i'll be giving that one b so for a major nutrient note the word major specimen a fresh air gives us protein major nutrients why b b gives us calcium and protein but the amount of calcium it gives is much more than what than protein so that is why i'll be writing calcium here instead of protein so for specimen j specimen j gives a um, protein as well so from milk from meats from meat so that is the one b question now another question i'll be predicting for you here is that they can ask you to list the qualities of a good egg for ashing one it must be fertile and what and it must be well formed shell meaning that the the shell must be well formed and then the other one is that it must be free from cracks so any of the any of am any eggs that have this um this quality then the egg can be what proceed for action like that so another thing they can ask you is that they can ask you to mention two ways of preserving specimen b specimen b is what fresh milk refrigerating it so let me just say by refrigeration and then the other one by boiling so when you boil it you also preserve it another thing they can still ask you is there let me give you a number one e so they can ask you that you should state two or three or reasons for keeping specimen j in the poultry farm meaning that what is the reason what reason makes us to keep this um this live fowl in the in the farm why are we keeping them meaning that why are we rearing them uh -huh. for egg production for egg production and then another one is um for meats yeah for meat production so for meat you know which type of uh, uh, fowl do we use to eat basically boiler so for meat production okay so the next question they can ask you is that they can ask you to to list two management practices used to improve the productivity of specimen j before moving to the question one f i'll be using this opportunity to tell you student that students who want to write a post utme um, exam for schools like ui unilorin unilag oeu uniben unizic unn and any federal state or private university that used to write post utme exams so we'll be running a virtual tutorial for you by the end of um, july to the day of your exam it may actually run for like three months it depends on when you are starting your own school exam so but the price is going to be seven thousand naira. all your subjects you need for the post utme will be what will be taught through virtual means so that we can use whatsapp can use telegram we can use um google meet or zoom so depending on what students want they're going to make a pool for that and also if you want your post utme pass question so for any schools like where you you are in like Unilorin, Unizig, and Uniben, and any other universities that write post me. So, if you need your past question in PDF, compile together in PDF format. So, send the DM to our WhatsApp number displayed on your screen or write it under the comment section. We are going to sell it for you. So, different schools with different prices. So, the prices are different. Only your prices went from UI, went from Unilab, depending on the school you want. And then, lastly, for parents who or for your um younger siblings who need a tutorial for this upcoming holiday coaching you know the school is going on vacation by the end uh, maybe the end of july or so so we'll be running a virtual holiday coaching classes for ss1 to 3 and also js1 to 3 so for ss1 to 3 we'll be doing mathematics and chemistry which will start from um 
August 1 to August 31st, exactly. Why for Jason the 3D? The subject to be treating is um, mathematics and basic science. So, which also run for that same one month, August 1 to August 31st. For SS3, SS1 to 3, the price is 8,000 Naira for the whole one month. Why for GSS1 to 3, the price is 6,000 Naira for the whole one month. So, it will be very effective and it's very intensive and um, the student will really benefit from these classes. So, do well to send a message to us on WhatsApp or comment it under the comment section if you want the classes for your children. This one F again says that you should list um, two management practices used to improve the productivity of life file that is specimen um, j so what is that going to be one is going to be if you provide a balanced food or feed you know for animals we call it feed to so provide a balanced feed for them is going to what is going to improve their productivity that will be um provision of um balance balance feed okay now another one again is that um you should um fascinate them in order to control disease vaccination and um disease control disease control so that's that now another question i'll be predicting here for this first category let me give that one g let me give that one g so the question is um they can ask you to state differences maybe two three four i don't know it depends state two differences between specimen a and what and b so let me tabulate that so whenever they ask you to state any different just write a and what and b don't come here and write fresh egg and fresh miko just write a and b so one of the differences is that for fresh egg it is in a it is in a solid or you call it semi-solid form so just write it here as solid or semi-solid semi solid in terms of what in terms of the state of matter it is why for the um fresh milk we know that that one is liquid that one is liquid liquid that's number one so another one we have is that for this um specimen a now specimen a is obtained from bed yes why b is obtained from what mammals like cattle and co so obtained from bed why from bed why this guy this specimen b is obtained from from mammals okay so another thing they can still ask in this same first category is that they can ask you to mention one diseases associated with each of those specimens that is a b and j specimen a the disease that can affect it is um, egg drop syndrome egg drop syndrome so why for specimen um, b that one is a um, milk fever so for b is a milk fever why for and j rather so for j is a newcastle disease newcastle disease so that's that for j now another question they can still ask you again is so they can still ask you to um state to sign of an unhealthy bed so the two signs we can see from an odd from from an um, unhealthy bed is that number one there will be a dropping of wings we see the wind to start dropping down so and also it's going to lose appetite we will not be able to eat we see the beds or the fowl chicken anything so the appetite will not be there so this is the end of the video for this first first category so i'll be uploading another video soon which will entail the second and the third the second and the third category based on what is here so i will name that video part b so if you want the part b video just comment under the comment section that you want the part b video please do well to share this video to your classmates and i wish you guys best of luck
Bye.